Can you see okay? Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. And I am making a double batch. Oh, let me take my spatula out first before that becomes a disaster. Um, a soap. This is going to be a tulip fragrance soap. Of course it does not have a name. Can you hold that? Yeah. Just hold the handle. Put your hand there far away. Is this the lie? Yep. So I don't want you moving your hand. Thank you. Good job. Mommy, you might just want to move it a smidge to the left. Well, let's... You know what? We're going to pause one second and adjust the camera. Alright, we'll try that. I don't have a whole lot of table room, and I don't want to be doing this just in one little corner. my life solution. Cream. And here comes my cream. I'm a little shaky if I'm hungry. I just realized I did not get my molds ready. You want to help me with that? Yeah. Whoops. Okay, here are the molds. And I think the liners are sitting next to the sink because we just washed them. Okay. Good thing I have a helper here today. Let's get this all nice and blended. Notice they don't, my oils don't mix quite as well in this big pot. It's on my agenda to go and get more bowls. Buckets. I'm going to go to a restaurant supply store and see what I can find there. Um, but right now, I'm getting ready for a big festival. This is just my fragrance going in. And so I'm making double batches of everything. This fragrance I'm doing specifically for the festival because it is a tulip festival that we have here in our city. And this fragrance, I, you know, I was like, ugh, I don't want to do tulip. I feel like I have to because of, you know, what the festival is. This smells just like a real tulip. It does not smell bad. It smells really good. Put them, oh yeah, just leave them right there and you can hand them to me when I'm ready. How's that? Okay. This might be rising a little bit. poured into a, uh, a couple of smaller bowls and then I can whip it into submission here. So let me do this without knocking them on the floor. Yeah, I've got some cream in there. I don't need to 
dig out. Actually, from the fragrance. Sorry for my hand. I know you can't see a thing at the moment, but I'm trying to not drop this on the floor. So the camera's kind of a second thought at the moment. get this blended up really well. Much better. It was just the fragrance rising on me. Nice and smooth now. because I this was a huge batch of oil that I've already soaked. So I'm gonna do most of it yellow. I match again. I may have to add some more. I get a lot of questions about my micas. Where do I get them from? Especially when I use red. Um, I have more than one supplier that I use. I use Brambleberry. My favorite is Nurture Soap Supplies. I love their micas. But when I am soaping, I very rarely take the color straight from the bottle. I mix, um, and I, I don't really pay attention. I don't keep the, they come in these bags, and I hate the bags. So I put them in my own little containers, and I, half the time, I have no idea where the soap, has, or the uh, micas have come from. So, if I don't have an answer for you, if you ask about my micas, it's not because I'm being rude. It's because I honestly really don't know. And let's use a bigger spatula here. This one, I can tell you, was just a plain yellow from Nurtures. Um, I don't actually think they have this one anymore, though. I don't really want to stick blend this anymore if I can avoid it because if you can see that I've got a pretty thick trace going here and I want to make sure that this is still workable. I'm planning a drop swirl. I think I'm going to have to blend this just a little though unfortunately. Alright, <clears throat> red. This is not a pure red. This is a mix of Several different micas, not all red. Multiple companies. And I don't know exactly which ones because I have them in my own containers. I know one came from Nurtures. If you're looking for a true red, just a plain red, I think they have the closest. This is getting thick. Ugh. Not what I want to see. My hand is cramping up. So I'm going for a red and yellow. Um, like the tulip, the red and yellow tulip. When I smelled this, I mean originally I was gonna do something pastel-y, some pinks and purples, and white and yellow, but when I opened up the bottle and smelled it, I immediately thought of the red and yellow tulip. So, oh, nuts. Now this might be a, uh, a plot.
plopper. Let's see. Unfortunately, I had a stick on it a lot more than I had intended. as well. And the time is about up, so we'll pause this. Oh, thank you. Now we're back in a second. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to try to get these poured. Uh, this is not going to do what I want it to do. That makes me sad. I'll still try. Thank you. You're welcome. Hopefully if I just keep stirring it, I can keep it fluid enough. Okay, it's going in. Kind of. Is there a chopstick over there? Ta -da. Can you answer that? That's Daddy. Yeah. Here, we'll just do this. Hello? Mommy's soap videoing right now, Daddy. <laughs> you got Mommy's soap videoing. Mommy's soap. Uh, oh. Soaping. Soaping. Tell him I will call him back in a minute. She'll call you back in a minute. Bye. Okay. So I wasn't planning on swirling with the chopstick, but I could see right away that the, I mean, this is now, a, it, this is not going in at all. So may as well just go with it. I don't want to do a spoon swirl. I thought doing the chopstick would be something different. Let's go the opposite direction this time. I think it's still pretty. Yeah, it will be. Nothing wrong with it at all. Smack these down. Plug your ears. Let me stir these. That's the thing with florals is they, this is all slippery, they um, trace really quickly. I know you can't see. Save the rest you now. A little bit more. Save that for the top. And unfortunately, this one rice so that I actually I have never seen a soap rice quite that way before. Usually, I mean, it looks like little pieces of rice or something, and that was like chunks. I thought, oh my gosh, my there's something wrong with my cream, but my cream is fine. And it whipped right out, so it was just crazy fragrance. But now I know for next time. There are reviews on fragrances, but here, soap um, formula, you know, can make your fragrances work differently than somebody else's. And then whether or not you soap at room temperature, there are just so many variables. Let's see, let me smack this first. Flatten it. And, oh. I don't know what I'm doing. 
And is there going to be glitter on it? Yes. I'm not going all the way down. I'm just trying to hit the last layer that I did. Is there going to be glitter on it? Hello? <laughs> I'm not ready for it yet. Oh, I, this is so slippery. I can't even grab it and wipe this off. Got messy today. Okay. I'm going to drizzle the tops. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I just changed my mind. You always come with a plan. No, actually I don't. <laughs> I rarely have a plan. And the times I have a plan, they usually don't you know, work out the way you plan. And I don't know that this is going to work out what, how I'm thinking. I don't think it will. But that's okay. I'm just doing it anyway because I can. happens to every soaper. What does? It dries up. I mean, and that doesn't dry up. It gets thick? Thick. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was talking to somebody today who's learning to soap. And, um, yeah, I don't have enough red to do this. She was worried because her batter trays so fast. It's normal. Um, I'm happy when I don't have soap on a stick. You know, when you put your fragrance in and it is, it just gets so thick so fast that it's all you can do to save it by plopping it in the mold. And sometimes you can't even do that. I'm going to be a soap brew when I grow up too. Yeah? Well, when you're a little older, I will let you do it. You're just not quite old enough yet and not I'm ready for you to be playing with this stuff. There's some right there, but that one. Thank you very much. Yeah. There was like a whole bowl over here. Ugh. Let me wipe this down really fast, get these out of the way. Babies are napping. Good thing they are sound sleepers. Hmm. Flamingo and a beak. A flamingo? Yeah. I don't know why, but it looks like a flamingo and a little beak. a little thick for that to work, but... Ha ha ha! Voila! <laughs> okay, let me clean up my edges here. How are we on time? Oh! Doing good. We should finish just in time. So, add a little glitter. Don't turn this off yet. If I'm going to have the cutting video, I'll put it at the back half of this. I want just a light dusting. Oops. A little too much over there. I don't want that much. The window is open and it's kind of blowing it. So, all right, we'll call that good. Good. <laughs> so, here is a tulip fragranced 
It looks like the spots that I missed. Come on now. Uh -huh. Tulip fragrance soap. I will have the name. I don't know. Soon. Hopefully. I have so much soap to make. I'm going to have to really um, get creative here. But, uh, yeah, don't go anywhere. We'll have the cutting video. But thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, here's the tulip fragrance soap. This smells really good. There was a discussion um, this morning on my page, actually, on my Facebook page, about whether or not tulips have a scent. And I wondered about that when um, I saw the, the fragrance, because I didn't really think tulips had scent. But apparently they do. So those are the sample bars. Hoping for more of a swirl inside. We'll see. There's the first one. But anyway, the scent, the fragrance is described as a clean, pleasant scent. And not all tulips have fragrance. Only some of them do. Which I thought was really interesting. But when I opened the bottle, when I got this, I actually got it yesterday, and um, when I first smelled it, it made me think of the tulip fields. It's a very light, clean, floral. And it really, it almost has kind of an apple. I don't know. It's very pleasant. It's very nice. I like it very much. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, that's a good one. That one's a good one, too. Well, good. I wasn't sure what to expect with this, since it didn't. It wasn't very nice to me yesterday. Clean off my wires, and I'll do the second one really fast. And it's still in the mold. If you can see that, I hope it's focused. It looks like it is, but. Sometimes I upload onto the computer and realize the whole video is out of focus. So these liners um, may be a pain sometimes while I'm soaping with them, but when I'm unmolding, they're just, they're awesome. This is the perfect consistency. Those sample bars, just like the other. Um, one is more yellow and one is more red. Thank you. Sorry, she's squeezing by me here. We don't have a lot of room. There's that one. I like that one. I'm having to check behind the camera to see. I need to get an actual video camera, I think. One where I can see what I'm doing. And that will zoom. That's cool. Okay, this loaf, I got more of the swirl that I was looking for. Apparently somebody is trying to get a hold of me. That's cool. That looks like a tulip. I'm going to save that one. And the last piece. So, <clears throat> again, I don't have the cure date for this one. It'll be ready in April. I may not list a lot of these until closer to the, um, the festival time, which is in mid-April. So look for it around the beginning of April, around the first or so. Um, at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.